First of July, and it's time to start packing up the car for our trip to Brimley State Park and do something a little different because uh, we've done time lapses of the packing. And, but I'm just gonna show a couple of highlights of some things. How do we get this ready for hold a bunch of camping stuff? One is to get the seats all folded down, which these come down pretty easy. And just like that, we got a flat loading space. The next thing is this. this. And then it goes down. And so that hat gives us the uh, ability to uh, stack things up. Then we put in our folding camp table. The camp grill for the fire pit. Sometimes Cleo likes to cook over the fire. Yesterday I filled up all the small propane tanks, put those in down here. We've got walking sticks down there now, so it's interesting how I fit them in. Put the walking sticks out for a minute. Put these in. Walking sticks can go behind. Like that. Next is getting in the screen tent, which takes up a lot of space and is a bit of a pain to get in. Try to get it so that the canvas part's on top because that's the squishy part and the rest is the, the poles. You can see how that fits in there well. And the bed, because it's really it's the next most bulky thing. As you can see, it fits in the space pretty good. Well, not perfect. And then the next thing is, is the tent. You can see here, there's cubbies in the car that can fit small things. And we always manage to stick some things in there. Our old tarp wore out. This year we got a new super heavy duty tarp. But the big thing about this one Actually, the not so big thing about this one is that it's exactly 12 by 12, just like our tent. So it won't stretch out to where the porch is. So we got this outdoor rug mat to use for our porch. It won't make as big of a porch as the old tarp did, but it's more colorful, which matters. Put these chargers in this cubby. Uh, maybe not. There you go. As you can see here, there's some room for uh, more Tetris blocks than what we normally put there. So camp stove, dish rack, and camp oven. So camp stove and camp oven. Dish rack has to go someplace else because it's a little too big. Then we can also put our collapsible water on the floor here. I always put the air pump so that you can get to it easy to so pump up the uh, bed. You should put a couple of extension cords down there too. We have the orange pads which don't really compress down as small as one would hope, but they're nice and comfy. Kind of like having a mattress topper. A little cart. Yeah, that's about everything that I generally put in in the garage. So I need to pull this out to put the rack on top. Now, because I went to the bank this morning to pull out some cash, I used some electric. So even though this is in the driveway, I'm gonna plug it back in so that it can be as charged as it can be. Give us that 20 miles or so of uh, electric range. It's not a lot, but with gas prices being what they are now, every little bit helps. It can uh, fully charge from empty in about four or five hours. Not empty right now, so it shouldn't take that long. This would never make interesting video. Should always be time lapse. And that's as low as it goes. Now 
Now you might ask, how do you know where to put those? Well, when I first got them, I had to measure. But once I got them in the right place, I took a permanent marker and I drew lines on either side of where the clamp goes to so that from that point forward, I would know where each clamp went. And then you can just use this, to, this tool to tighten it down, but not all the way because you've got to go on the other side and take out the little black plug line up and use the tool to tighten over here. And then it's got a built-in torque wrench. So once the little arrow points to the slot side, it's tight. It's pretty tight. Same thing for the back one. Each of the bars has its own, came with its own tool and stores its own tool. Again, this first one you just do kind of hand tight just so it's snug. And then finally, just lock it. It's not really a high security lock, but because it is actually so easy to take these off. One more step certainly does not hurt. That would be a disaster to uh, lose the ability to carry that extra cargo. We'd have to leave it behind or something. Time to get the Force XL out here. I can generally get it off the ropes myself into the car. Need a second pair of hands to uh, help me get it on the roof. And that's where the will become useful. Not the only time. It's useful for lots of things. One of the issues is it doesn't really have good carrying handles. So I carry it by the cloth. Such Cleo to give me a hand with that. Simple world. <laughs> you wait to where it's actually to start recording. Now you can dance. Ready? Oh. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay, okay. Thank you. So I always center this, and how I do that is on the back, I put the antenna between the, the nuts, and then I try to visually center the two uh, bumps on the front with the uh, forward sensing stuff in the middle of the windshield. I grab a little stool and start tightening this down. So there's a little more detail about tightening these things. You turn these, and what it does is it uh, tightens these down in order to grab the bar and hold on to it at all four points. I learned to tap the focus more. First thing I'm gonna put up there is our luggage. This piece of luggage I got before I went to visit Cleo for the first time to meet her in person way back in 2005. probably the heaviest thing to put up here, so I always put it directly above the bar. Everything else goes where it can fit, the exception of the cast iron, which goes in front. Nothing much else fits in the front, and it's a little heavy because it's cast iron. Just like you should try to fit back here because it's squishy. That never works out, so I'm gonna skip that part and put it up here. It's just too tall to go back there, and it interferes with the closing. This which looks like it's mostly beach towels. But I see some of my shorts in there and stuff too. Got back there. Stick the umbrella up there. Thing is really good for the long stuff, but I'll try to fit this chair in. Cast iron riddle. Needs a lot more than you would think. Laundry hamper, new dishwashing sink, double basin, and of course lights, and of course Cleo's chair. These latches, look in there. Latch that won't move right now because 
the top's not tall. And there's three of them. This is the middle one. The forward one, the top latch. And so those have to go down in it. Let's see what happens. And the moment of truth. No joy, not because of the front. So you see how that front is like that? And that's why this takes a lot of messing around with to actually get closed. Let's see how much messing around it's going to take today. I'm going to need both hands. What would be nice is if you had some sort of way that you could see what's going on. Looks like maybe the front's not closing all the way. That looks better. And that did it. So it's mostly a matter of looking underneath these to make sure was made up good and uh, wasn't made up good in the front here. The next uh, difficult thing to get in is the pantry because it's all big, bulky, heavy, has our dry foods like uh, nuts as well as instant coffee, hot cocoa powder, dishes, cookware. It's in there pretty nicely. Next big thing would be the cooler. I got it. Boys, as we know how big it is. That's the uh, new backpack for all the camera equipment, including the, the two telephoto lenses, the new one and the uh, old one. Still bringing the old one because it it's a 70 to 300, so it's got more reach than the new one. It's not as sharp. Uh, UV flashlight on there, chargers. There's lots of room over here. Bicycle rack. Basically, you have to put on before you close the gate and hold it so that these stay. And then you can pull up the cables. Unwrap it tight. And again, these lock so that it discourages theft. Oh, plastic anyways, though. I'm gonna stop anybody. Oh, serious. Really, all it does is it extends this little tab so that the release can't be pressed and these can't be released. The bike up there. Since Cleo's given up on learning to ride a bike, only bring mine. And this just makes it so that the front wheel isn't going to be going far from the bike because the front wheel's got a quick release on it, so it's really easy to take off. And then this cable will make it difficult to take the bike off the rack. Also keep the seat from walking away. Bike rack. And the saddlebags. About all that can be stolen from it are the pedals, which would be aggravating, but 
pedals are inexpensive. And this basically makes it so that you have to cut the straps on the helmet if you want to steal it, which makes the helmet less than useful. Set it to the Mackinac Bridge. That way it'll tell us how far to the Mackinac Bridge and we have to go anyways. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands no. while driving. Yeah. Okay, you see both on? To the highlighted route, and then the route guidance will start. So I'm picking that. And away we go. 1232. And the latest are on, see, that, that trust comes in this. Yeah. Okay. 